got our final today. It's the last day of school for the summer semester. And we all decided to meet at the subway at noon before class to have lunch. So let's see what that's like. We're just, we're here at subway and we're, we're going back to the school because there's a bunch of losers that decided not to eat with us. And I almost didn't make it. How would you have felt if you were the only one that showed up? Uh, pretty important because I knew I was the one that mattered. Me too. <laughs> no one else really matters. <laughs> there's our college right there. Uh, the there's building. In our class that didn't come. Yeah, there's that one other kid over there. The liberal kid. He's not in. Oh, you mean. So we're eating good food. Why didn't. Hey, you two back there. Why didn't you meet us at Subway? Why? <laughs> Well, you should have studied last night so you could have had an awesome lunch with us today. We're enjoying this food. It's, it's good. I studied last night, but I haven't studied to get a name. The board, so we can see what happens when it's open. Just a minute, I gotta look. There's the dragon. He's breathing fire on the people. And then like this, and you go. Hold on, this is cooler. This is cooler. Oh my gosh! Those people are gonna die! That is not nice. He is like. incarnate of my childhood. Who? Who? Thank you. Me? Yeah, defense mechanisms to stress. I'm an incarnate of your, your child? Repression, rationalization, sublimation, identification. No, what what did you say? I'm what? I said you were the incarnation of my childhood. Oh, why? Denial. Why? You ever heard of your inner child? Yeah? You were like my outer child. Thank you. Why do you say that? Because <laughs> you're what he does outwardly. Yes. I don't understand. You will. Whatever, guys. I, we have to study. Let's read our notes. Repression, rationalization, identification, supplementation. So there's friendly people. Reaction, formation. No, I can't see the notes. Rejection, denial, displacement. Do you think, uh, do you think Mr. Flowers will open the board and see what happens? Yeah. He doesn't read it first. I, I hope he does. I hope he doesn't because that dragon is really Shh. awesome. Study now. I don't, I, I don't want to study. It's boring. Then shh. You don't. You don't really want to study. You're just doing it to impress people. So you were talking about a disorder. What disorder were you talking about? You. No, I'm not a disorder. You cause disorders. <laughs> That's a real jerk thing to say, you know? It's true. Well, let's talk about that disorder. You said it was I'm like studying. an erotic disorder. No. It was you very were. sensual. No, it's because you're gay. <laughs> hey! Hey, what's the fourth one? I think it's I'm telling you, you better stop saying that because I'm not the one that likes... One of them is you also know disassociative. That's what you got. What about that sexual disorder? That's what you have. No. I think, you remember that one time you said that Oprah was really attractive? She's no. a liberal too and you, you were all on it. Yep. Anyway, well, now you're on your own. Now what do you do? <laughs> I'm on my own? What does that even mean? And uh, now people aren't going to watch your blog. People will. Only because I'm on it. People will watch the video blog of... Your mom's on the watch it. Thornton Perry commentary with... Damn it. I don't know. This is kind of boring. No one's even here. That could be a good thing, though. Some of those people are really weird. Okay, we're going to end it for a little while. Till Brother Flowers gets in, then we'll take some more. That's good. Why did you touch my camera? Why did you have... Why did you touch my dog? So this is like a revenge kind of thing? Uh -huh. That's inappropriate. You need, you need I, it. I never do that kind of stuff to you. I don't want to talk, to, uh, talk about him anymore either. He's, he's bad. He's Turn mean. that off and listen. Bloody heck, man. <laughs> Bloody heck? Don't curse. <laughs> Watch your language. <laughs> oh my God. Bloody breath. This is a little bit of a view that I have from the east side of the campus building. That's the conference center right there. And then over here, that's the church administration, church office building. It's 
temple square with the tabernacle and the temple right there visitor center uh, maybe that's the church history library that you can see a little bit of and then that building right there with all the spires that's the assembly hall and the one building right over here I'm not sure how well you can see it that's the Joseph Smith Memorial building and you've got a bunch of the other downtown buildings the crane that's building the big mall and then some of the traffic that's going you have a clear view right here of the entire part of the east, northeast part of the city. It's the capital right up there, if you can see that, and some apartment buildings. And there's the conference center. I'll show that in a little bit from over the other side of the building. You get a little closer, but that's just Temple Square over there and all the traffic and Howard's Johnson some of the mountains around. It's a very beautiful day and if you're standing right here where I'm at you can actually see those clouds a lot clearer. They're very defined, have very a lot of texture. Very very pretty. The flag down here and if you can see there's a rope. I think they're cleaning the windows. I can't see who they are because they're not down there. I think they're up at the top part of the building but here's just a study area of the school. This is on the sixth floor upstairs. Very pretty. Here's a chess board where people can play chess when they want to and if you want to bring your laptop you just plug it in here and you've got wireless networks around the school so you just log online. And here's just some pictures of the past parts of the school where they used to have the school built and some nice study chairs and a trash can and different pictures in the hallway. It's a very nice school. And then this is the room that I always go to when I need to do my own personal studying. The lights automatically come on when you walk in the door. And they've got the projector if you ever have any presentations in class. What I always do though when I'm in here alone is I come over and I turn the lights off because I like to be on my own, just kind of in the dark. It's a lot less light, you can focus more, feel alone, and feel nice. This is where I always study. You can tell because I've slanted the computer. It's been like this for a few weeks. But what I always do is I come here and I put my bag down with my uh, nice little bag with the uphill LDS Business College, Mitt Romney, 2008. I just come in here, I slanted my computer, and sometimes when it's a little too bright, I close the blinds, because I don't want to see, I don't want to be distracted by the beautiful view. You can see some of the view out there, I don't want to be distracted by it, and so, just come in here, I turn the computer on, and I log on to the network, and it's just really nice to be able to do, so, that's really how I'll just go ahead and end this blog. There's not much else to show. I just wanted to make sure that you saw my college and knew what kind of things that I did during the day and sometimes I even just to add on real quick here, sometimes I come in and I put my laptop right here and then I have two screens at once and sometimes I turn this monitor on. You might ask why does someone need so many monitors at the same time? It's just because that I have the room. I mean you can see all these computers and most of the time no one's in here because we've got like 10, 11, 12 floors of computer labs and classrooms and so in the summer it's not really busy and so you just have the whole place to yourself and that's just what I like to do and I have my room I just turn on YouTube on one screen uh, a school report on one and then music on my laptop and I'll go to work do my homework while I have videos and music and it just all works out really nice I really like it here it's a great college LDS Business College it's a two-year school and I was going to go to BYU but they wanted me to serve a mission for the church first and so I'll go ahead and do that. If you, some of you won't understand what I'm talking about when I say that, but that's okay. Anyways, took my psychology final. I probably got a B on it and I didn't even study, which kind of makes me mad because if I had studied I would have gotten a really good grade on it. But that's about it and as always I hope all is well in your neck of the woods. Have a good weekend. Actually it's only Wednesday so have a good rest of the week. That's about it.